Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss effect of dilation and translation on two dimensional figure using coordinates. Now a transformation changes a figure into another figure and this new figure is called the image. Now there are four methods of transforming a figure and these methods are dilation, translation, the reflection and rotation. And in this session we will discuss dilation and translation. First of all let us discuss dilation. Now in this figure you can see that a triangle ABC is enlarged to form a bigger triangle A double dash, B double dash, C double dash and the same triangle is contracted to form smaller triangle A dash, B dash, C dash and this transformation in which the size of a figure is enlarged or reduced without changing its shape is called dilation and dilation is represented on a grid or graph paper where we can plot the coordinates and center is that point which is fixed and all points move from the fixed point at equal distances now here the center is the point O and when you see from front then here you can see that center of all these triangles is the point O and from here you can also see that the triangle ABC is contracted to form the triangle A dash B dash C dash and the same triangle is enlarged to form a triangle A double dash, B double dash, C double dash about the point O that is about the point O as the center. Here we will discuss the center at origin. Now if a point P X Y is on a geometrical figure now here we have taken the point P X Y as a vertex of this triangle with center origin and now we multiply each coordinate by K and if K is greater than 1 then this is the new triangle which we will obtain and vertices of this triangle are B dash, Q dash, R dash, each having coordinates KX, KY. So, if K is greater than 1, then the triangle P, Q, R will be enlarged to a new triangle P dash, Q dash, R dash. And if K is less than 1, then triangle PQR is contracted to form a triangle P double dash, Q double dash, R double dash, each having coordinates KX, KY. So this is how dilation takes place when we multiply the coordinates of the vertices of a given triangle or when we multiply the coordinates of the vertices of the given geometrical figure by K and this K is called scale factor. Now let us discuss an example. In this we have to dilate the following points by 3. Now here 3 is the scale factor now we will multiply all the coordinates by 3 and we get the new coordinates as 3, 3, 
six, twelve, and nine twenty one. First of all, let us plot the original points on the graph. Now here we have plotted the three points. Now on joining these three points, we get a straight line. Now let us plot the new points on the graph. So we have plotted the three points of the graph. Now on joining these three points, again we get a straight line. Now here, as the scale factor is three, which is greater than one. So here enlargement takes place that is this blue line is enlarged to give this pink line so these three points are dilated by a scale factor of 3 now if we have to dilate the points by a scale factor of 1 upon 3 then here all the coordinates will be divided by 3 And the new coordinates will be one one two four and three seven. So in this case, first of all, we will plot the original coordinates. Then, on joining these points, we get a straight line. Then we will plot the new coordinates and. Plotting the new coordinates again, we get a straight line. So in this case, as the scale factor was one upon three, which is less than one, so here this pink line is reduced to give this purple line. So if scale factor is greater than one, then the image is enlargement, and if scale factor is less than one, then image is a reduction. Now let us discuss the method of dilating a figure. Now let us discuss it with the help of an example. Now in this example, we are given that the points M with coordinates minus three minus six, G with coordinates zero nine, and H with coordinates six minus nine are the vertices of triangle MGH. Now we have to dilate this triangle. By a scale factor of one upon three to get a new triangle M dash G dash H dash. Now let us start with its solution. Here the coordinates of vertices of triangle MGH are given to us, and here scale factor is one upon three. So we will multiply all the coordinates. By one upon three, and then we get the new coordinates, that is M dash as minus one, minus two, G dash zero three, and the coordinates of H dash will be two minus three. Now, first of all, let us plot the vertices M, G, H. On the graph, so we have plotted all the three vertices on the graph. Now, joining these three vertices, we get the triangle MGH. Now, let us plot the new vertices on the graph. So, we have plotted the new vertices on the graph. And on joining the new vertices, we get the new triangle M dash G dash H dash. So here the figure M G H is reduced to give a new figure M dash G dash H dash. And now we will discuss translation. Now in this figure, you can see the two triangles are similar in size and shape. It just seems that the triangle is slided to another position, and this is called translation. Now, a translation is a transformation in which a figure slides but does not turn, 
at any point of the figure moves the same distance and in the same direction and the original figure and its image have same size and shape so here the triangle a and triangle a dash are having same size and shape now in this figure these two triangles have same shape but the size of these two triangles is different so this is not a translation now let us discuss the method of showing translation of a geometrical figure on a graph paper now consider an example in this triangle abc has vertices a b and c that is the vertex a with coordinates minus 2 1 vertex b with coordinates 2 5 and vertex c with coordinates 1 2 now we have to translate this triangle three units right and three units down now in translation for obtaining the new coordinates we will add and subtract the units from original coordinate depending on translating units right left up or down now left and right movement leads to change in x coordinate up and down movement leads to change in y coordinate for moving up we add in the y coordinate for moving down we subtract in the y coordinate for moving right we add in the x coordinate and for moving left we subtract in the x coordinate now here we have to move 3 units right it means we have to add 3 to the x coordinates and we have to move 3 units down it means we have to subtract 3 from the y coordinates of the vertices a b and c so here we have drawn a table in the first column we have written the original vertices and in the last column we will find the new vertices after translation now adding 3 to the x coordinate and subtracting 3 from the y coordinate of vertex a we get the new vertex a dash whose coordinates are 1 minus 2 similarly we get the new vertices b dash c dash now first of all we will plot the points a b and c on the graph and join them so here we have plotted the points a b and c and on joining them we get a triangle abc now we will plot the new vertices on the graph so here we have plotted the points a dash b dash c dash on the graph now on joining these points we get the new triangle a dash b dash c dash now from the graph you can see that the point b has moved to b dash by moving 3 units right and then 3 units down similarly the point c has moved to c dash and point a has moved to a dash so this new image a dash b dash c dash is formed by translation So in this session we have learned about the effect of dilation and translation on two dimensional figure using coordinates and this completes our session hope you all have enjoyed the session